Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Battle Epic live stream. You're joined by me a while time with Jampu here as well. And have we got a game for you? The Division 3 final. So I think if I remember correctly the last final of the BCL, Jampu can uh, correct me later on. Uh, between Dutchies and Killer Clowns. Both teams coming from the same group stage where Dutchies finished second, Killer Clowns finished first. And it's going to be a grudge match of the century here. Obviously, Dutchies didn't do too well in the last game, only clawing one point against Killer Clowns 3. But we can only hope and see if Dutchies have got what it takes to uh, finish this final off with a bang. So, let's introduce Jampu here and see what he thinks. Good evening on my behalf as well. I'm having a little bit of audio technical technical problems here it seems so i can't can barely hear you but i'm i'm trying to fix that on the run so no problem there just keep on talking mate then i'll i'll join once i get everything working awesome so today obviously we've got dutchies killer clowns just waiting for the teams to get into the server now waiting on one more dutchies player and uh two more of the killer clowns guys so luckily dutchies had a very very um <laughs> very good uh organization to send us some information about their previous game with killer clowns and uh what happened last time so last time it was 155 and 146 on amiens there to killer clowns with dutchies coming in a close uh 97 to 100 uh, so three points they managed to win the first round of scar and 14 lost the second by 53 points uh they've got an awesome lineup here we got Testosterone NL, we've got Echoslut, or Nick as he likes to be called, Armon, Amien NL, and Clupido. So we've got an awesome lineup from the Dutchies, and it looks like Killer Clowns are also fielding some of their best, um, as we've seen before. So we can't wait to see what the game has in store, and uh, we hope you guys enjoy it as well. If there are any technical issues, feel free to let us know, and we'll try and sort them out as soon as possible for you. And uh, we're just waiting on one more of the Dutchies players to join in here. Uh, first two maps are going to be St. Quentin Scar, Dutchies home flag here. Uh, they play this map almost religiously. This is their home ground. Not a lot of teams play this, but Dutchies, as we've seen, progressing throughout the whole tournament, have improved tenfold since their first group game all the way up to the finals. Playing a bit of the underdogs here. And yeah, it was uh, pretty, pretty good. Again, just waiting on one more player. All the pings seem to be fine at the moment. Everyone between that nice 20 and 70 mark there. So hopefully no foul play with lag involved. And for those of you who have been following us throughout the uh, tournament here, let us know what your or some of your best matches have been that you've seen us cast. Uh, we're always interested to see what you guys like and uh, what we can do better to improve. Uh, remember, we are on Twitter, Facebook, and again, Twitch as well, uh, with all of our battle archives heading straight to YouTube, pretty much straight after the game, for you guys to watch at your own leisure. So make sure you follow them, like, and subscribe where you can. A lot of you guys saying good luck Dutchies out there. Again, my personal favourites, but uh, if Killer Clowns start to up the ante, we might have to start rooting for the other team there. Yeah, and it's going to be quite interesting in that sense that the first match was actually actually won with clear figures by KC. So definitely, Dutchies are going to be the underdog in here. But I, I think that Dutchies, they have surprised us before because they were winning quite clearly the DZ46 that was the number one in Group A, and they were number two in Group B, so their initial... Uh, semi-final match was against them and I did expect the, K, uh, the, the DZ46 to win that but surprise surprise it was Dutchies and they did a good job so I think that they have evolved quite well so they have a good fighting chance against KC it's going to be interesting to see we haven't been casting that many KC matches have we no not that um, I've had the chance to cast any of those it's been a very hit and miss especially with the lower division on uh, what games we get to cast. Dutchies, again, have always asked us to uh, get hold of their games for them, and we're always happy to oblige. So, yeah, no, it's um, it's been a very interesting uh, group stage, this uh, Division 3, and I think, personally, some of the best games have come from that division. Oh, indeed, indeed. So, 
in that sense, KC is kind of the big unknown for us. We don't really know how well they are playing. Of course, they are playing well because they are number one in their group, in the group B. So naturally, they are good, good players, but we just don't know that much about them. Yeah, we'll just have to uh, to wait and see. I mean, um, myself in my competitive uh, career and having my team, I've played them a few times um, in the past sort of year, and they are a pretty strong side, especially on uh, maps like Ballroom Blitz. They tend to get a really nice rotation on, and when they do, when they see a mistake, they jump on it very, very quickly. So it's going to be interesting to see if we uh, see that happening in the game today. But we are starting with San Quentin's car, which is obviously the favorite map, map of Dutchies, because I've played several times against Dutchies, and they have always. I think at one time they did, did choose some other map than, than the Scar, but every time I've played them, almost every time they have picked up Scar, and this is their home turf. Yeah, I'll be very, very surprised if they don't put up a strong performance on this map. Um, again, their home turf, they know what they're doing. And it's Killer Clowns who are playing the uphill battle on this map. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to pay. It's going to be interesting to see how how they match up. Oh, most certainly. And with uh, ten seconds left to go, and then the longest five seconds of our life, as Dice always seems to give us. <laughs> um, it's going to be interesting. Oh, the countdown has actually gone past oh five this time. Do we, miracles do, do we happen. Have an up the upgrade that actually fixed that. <laughs> So, starting off the game, we've got Dutchies in the blue here, Killer Clowns in the red. Dutchies off to a semi-slow start here, pushing off past Charlie, but two people heading towards Bravo. And Killer Clowns look like they're going to get there first and cut the Dutchies team off. We're going to jump on to uh, Zelda here, who's going to, might be the first person in action. He's taken a very interesting spot, never seen that one before. Um, and he's going straight for the open hole there. Yeah, but Killer Clowns, they already cut a nice double right there on the beginning, so they are taking a little bit of a lead right from the get-go. Zelda here doing some work in the building, tries to take out Mon, but Mon comes in with the bar telescopic, a nice little slide, and takes him out. Dutch is managing to hold that Charlie flag, and I think they're also contesting Brava as well by the looks of the map here, and Alpha. Uh, they are, they are. I was just watching, watching while, while KD... KDG was killing the only Dutchess player on Butters, so Butters is still heavily, heavily bit with KC. But then on the other hand, Abels and Charlie, they are both with Dutchies. So good, good start in this game. Oh, most definitely. I mean, I'm following Zelda again. He's going to push into Alpha. Uh, with Dutchies winning two out of the, uh, the three flags they needed, they're definitely in a good spot. I'm going to start taking the lead here. And Zelda's trying to push in, but I think he's going to have a bit of a hard time when he gets into the objective as uh, two of the Dutchess players there are going to um, get on him straight away, like testosterone here. Sees the I'm guy, takes not, the grenade. I'm hoping I'm not giving anything away, but I know this from playing Dutchess before, that they are very good on camping these buildings. I was just watching Dutchess work on Apples, and they are doing exactly the same thing as always. They are occupying the building, camping in there, and picking up one by by one all the obsession. But at the same time, Charlie is going to be contest contested. There is two guys from Casey coming in, and there is only one player, Armon, defending it, and it's going down. Yeah, I'm on Armon here now, and we're going to see what he can do. He's got someone contesting below him. He's uh, he knows he's there. Jumps down like Spider Man, absolutely rips him a new one. Obviously, the bard doing some massive work, and he's <laughs> having to retreat a little bit now as Killer Clowns managed to capture Charlie. Teammate spawns on him, and let's see what this pincer mover can do. Oh, unfortunately, Zelda gives him the, a smack around the back of the head there and uh, takes him out. Yeah, but one player managed to echo shot, managed to managed to spawn on him. He did a wise move there, and he waited for Armon to spawn back. And now they're back on Charlie, and they are going to contest that again. Yeah, Killer Clowns. Yeah, three players from Dutchish already. Yeah, I mean, uh, Killer Clowns tried to hold out on Bravo. Unfortunately, got rushed by a three-two push on Bravo there and it looks like they decided to trade that for Charlie. I mean, they are leading by two points at the moment. As long as they keep playing this uh, this push and pull game of trading one flag for the other, they should be able to maintain this top position and hold the lead throughout the game. Yeah, well, it's a tight, tight match. 22 to, to 24 at the moment. Dutchies are a little bit of a lead, but that doesn't hold. Uh, they're in good position though. They have two flags and that's no surprise. As told in the beginning, that this is by far the most played map for Dutchies. So 
it would be quite interesting to see if they are actually going to win this. We have got contest. Clupido here who's on his third uh, hat trick on the flag of Alpha defending it. And thanks to his hard work and going in big, his team has managed to hold onto that flag. Good plays, good turning around, and some awesome slaying by uh, from Pido here. Awesome, awesome. And then when I'm looking at the wider picture here, I have to say that the Dutchies are doing a good job. They are controlling the map very well. They are basically just kind of cleaning up the whole mid area there. And KC has a hard time of getting in the flag. Now we have KDG on Apples again, but he's a lone light rider there and he can't do it on his own. He needs some friends in there. Yeah, we've got Hazy's pushing up now with uh, two more of the Killer Clowns players. And it's now it's a two on two on Alpha, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, with again, Clue going in absolute big, taking out Hayes and KGD, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely the slayer of the team, and he's acting as a massive anchor on that alpha point, causing massive headaches for the Killer Clowns team here. But good job by Dutchies. There's a huge, huge fight going there. Four players, most of the KC team are now challenging apples. They have decided that let's push that. It's three against four at the moment. Four. Uh, KC is one by one picking up the guys. Clopido is still there, but the flag is moving down because there are a huge amount of, of KC players and they just, that was the kind of <laughs> one of the wheels because they just wanted that and they pushed all the guys in there. But at the same time, Dutchies are already on butters. Yeah, we've got Omon here with a massive strong power position in the uh, Charlie flag here. Taking off one of the guys pushing from Alpha to Charlie. He's going to have someone coming in through the front door. He's not really watching that push and he needs to be careful here as uh, the flag now starts to become contested. He needs to stop paying attention. He needs to get out of that hard scope, turn around and take this guy out. He knows where Killer Clowns are going to be. He's already sort of pre-heading to those locations. And he needs to start acting quickly because they are 10 points ahead and they can't afford to give this lead away. Huge fight going on on Charlie at the moment. It's going up and down all the time. Testosterone is there alone oh, and he's down. goes down. And Killer Clowns got the, got the ticket. Got the flag, so the tickets are going to run against uh, for them. But it's 10 tickets apart and we are halfway through. We've got x coming in to try and take Alpha. Hayes laying down on the floor there, surprising everyone. It's up to Amien to finish that off. And he does that beautifully, securing that Alpha flag for the rest of his team. However, it looks like Killer Clowns managed to get a spawn onto Alpha. So it's going to be a contested flag. And hopefully Amien can do some work here. He needs to be careful. He's taking a hit from the back. It's one on one to Jason on Apples. Now more Killer Clowns are coming in. And Amy a good play there. by him. Yeah, but there's, there's a new guy. Oh, he gets taken out. Oh, that was nasty. Yeah, he just needed to aim a bit more above the shoulders, get that headshot, and he would have he would have got the kill there. I mean, the Herald Gore was awesome in that close quarters hit fire situation, but you need to aim for that upper chest in the hopes that the recall can come and pick you a decent headshot or two. Otherwise, you cannot compete against the autoloader, which doesn't have a better time to kill than the Herald Gore. Casey has a quite interesting tactic. Usually when we are watching these games, they, they are kind of distributing their forces quite evenly. It's max three guys on the same flag, but again, Casey did the same thing. They forced butters to them by attacking with, with four players. Most of the team are all on one flag. It seems to be working, but at the same time, Dutchies managed to get the uncontested ma uh, flag, so they are still keeping their 10 ticket lead. Omon needs to go for the double here, and unfortunately he misses the opportunity to uh, secure Charlie for his team. Uh, that's the one drawback with the bar. As good as it is, you do not have enough ammo to be wasting shots. You can get two, maybe three accurate kills, but it hit fire. You can only really challenge one person at a time. But they are capping yeah. Charlie back again, and they're going to get Bravo. Are we going to start seeing a triple cap here? Ooh, unfortunately Apples not. Is going down. Apples is going down. But it's enough to start racking up the points and putting the distance between them and Killer Clowns and keeping that space. They are a full 13 tickets ahead now. Again, a, a little bit of fight on Charlie. There yeah, is good. still Childas Lacey is still there and the small, more KC guys are spawning in. It's three against two at the moment. Oh, I mean, doesn't check his corners going around and gets taken out. Okay, we're going to jump onto Charlie, like you said, which is a massive war zone here with testosterone with some lucky hip fire here. 
He's the last person on Charlie. He maybe needs to stay last alive. One alive. And now more Aramon just spawn it with him. He's down, but Aramon is there. Trying to hang in there. Hopefully he can bait that player in. Well. Teammate no, spawns on him. He gets the hit markers. Unfortunately, uh, his teammate goes down, but Armon stays up. But KGG comes in to finish him off. Dutchie's now on the back foot with only Bravo as their home flag. Killer Clowns are going to start racking those points up and to take the lead. Yeah, it's still anybody's game. Only 13 tickets apart, so it's still anybody's game. So if Dutchies want to, we still want to have this, they would need to contest one flag, and they need to do it fast because they are catching up. Uh, most definitely. I mean, for those of you who are just joining, welcome. This is a Batapic live stream of a wild time and Jampu, as you can see on the screen there. Uh, we're here with the BCL Division 3 Finals. Uh, this is a PS4 tournament for those of you asking in the chat. Um, but that doesn't stop it from being the, one of the best tournaments that I've ever had the pleasure of casting. <laughs> Indeed. It really doesn't matter. The, the difference isn't that big on, on the, on the uh, different consoles or, or PC on different, different platforms. And I have to say the quality of the games is quite high even on the consoles. Even though we everybody knows that, that the first-person shooters are coming from the PC background. But nowadays I say that, that the, the quality of games is quite high even on the consoles. Yeah, we've got Zelda and Sarcophagus here pushing onto the Bravo flag. Zelda gets two nice kills from the uh, Dutchies team, falling back from Alpha, allowing the rest of his guys to push in and grab it. But, but it looks Tetris like... Own and uh, Amien and Cupido are already barging in. And Killer Clowns finding themselves getting hit by brick walls at the moment as Dutchies stop them at Charlie and are really putting a thorn in the back of their neck here on Bravo. We're going to jump on Zelda, who's going to look like he's going to get a flank here. Onto Bravo. Hopefully, you can get a few kills. Haze is still there. Haze is still cleaning up the flag. Oh, 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 Zelda gets a really good kill, probably saving Haze's life. How he's pretty much absolute in this scenario with only a third of his health left. Uh, really putting the pressure on. And Dutch is losing Charlie as well. So they really Ooh. need to get this push on Bravo. Otherwise, they risk That's losing the game bad. this late in the round. Bad. Triple cap. Oh, Butters is going down now. But there's still, still lots of fighting going on. Luckily, they got there before the damage was done. I mean, Killer Clowns got very, very lucky, and especially in this sort of stage in the round when you're like 10, 20 points away from uh, from winning the game, a triple cap can really ruin your day. And testosterone yeah, and kills. Just kind of shutting down the triple cap takes like five to six seconds, so it's five to six tickets, so it would be even. Yeah, and with uh, Killer Clowns only seven tickets behind. Dutchies better hope and pray they manage to cap this alpha flag oh, and keep yeah, the pressure on Bravo. They are not there are two guys and only Sark of Prowse is, is moving in there and he don't dare to go. He's waiting for somebody to... Oh, and they didn't him. cap the alpha flag. Amien decides yeah. to push off and go for the slays. Doesn't cap the alpha oh, flag and now Killer Clowns are coming in to uh, contest. <laughs> that was bad. And luckily he decides to come in and get the slay that he needed. But that and could have, have been detrimental now. for the team. Interesting start for this game. Come on. It looks like Dutchies are going to get this. It, they, they need a miracle from KC side. It, we have seen miracles before, so it wouldn't <laughs> be, be uh, such a miracle, but I would still be surprised. Oh, most definitely. I mean, we've seen teams go 99 to 99, and a triple cap out of nowhere manages to win a team a game who was set to lose. KC is capping apples. They, are, they already have butters. It's only C, but C is Charlie's enough. It is enough. It's not if it's not contested fast. There is already haze on the on the flag area. Yeah, Testosterone oh. needs to go in big now, or at least get some help from his team. Dutchies have to hold Charlie if they stand any chance of winning the game. Again, seven. They don't have enough time, I'm afraid. The whole yeah. team of, of Dutchies they are gathered around Charlie and they want to keep the flag at any cost. And they are too far away. They can't make it. What a round! <laughs> it's been awesome so far. Looks like he's going to finish at 100 to 95 here with... Uh, Charlie's moving! Charlie's moving! Oh, Dutchies need to keep this flag. They have to keep this flag. Here we and go. What a game this is turning out to be here, guys. With Killer Good Clowns, job. 96. Dutchies, 100. Good job, both teams. Very exciting game. And Casey, they had a little bit struggle in the beginning. They had a little bit of, of starting problems. They didn't know how to get out, of, out from the B flag. And Dutchies did a good job, uh, job covering the map area, but out of not nowhere, 
cases just found the medicine and they started barging in the flag by flag and ticket by ticket they raced to the occasion and they almost got it what a round man. <laughs> awesome game i mean we saw some really good plays from dutchies especially from uh clue here who was doing really really good and then amien again t awesome slayer for the dutchies team but he let that get ahead of him right at the end of the game and we saw him nearly costing Dutchies the game there. I'm pretty sure he's getting a clip around the back of the head from his captain. Yeah, it was, it was probably a kind of miscommunication there that they didn't call out that who is who is departing and who is capping and everybody started departing and it was a fatal mistake but luckily they managed to cover up for that. Yeah, and no, it's been an awesome game so far and uh really really can't wait to uh, see what the rest has in store for us you know indeed it's going to be interesting to see that how killer clowns are going to start the next round because they kind of got the idea in this round so they they need to be a little bit more aggressive and that's exactly what they did in did in the first round so it's going to be extremely interesting that are going are they going to do that right from the get-go on the second round or what is going to happen because it would be for duchies it would be crucial to start by winning their own map. This is their map, this is their home turf, and they would definitely need to have this map on both rounds. Because I don't know how well they will do it, especially if KC is owning Amiens, if that's their home turf. It's their choice, so I would expect them to be extremely good on, on Amiens. So how is that going to go? It's going to be interesting, but it would be crucial for Dutchies to get this one. Uh, most certainly. Um, and again, it's all up to Killer Clowns now. Uh, Dutchie's narrowly, narrowly winning the first round and hopefully with both teams warmed up we should start seeing some bigger differences in the scores of the round here. Exactly, but a good round and I'm kind of hoping from the viewer perspective that this is exactly the same. It's going to be very, very close, it's going to be very, very tight. It's so much nicer for, for us and for the viewers to have some excitement. Yeah, most definitely. And with the round starting now, we've got Dutchies in the red here, Killer Clowns in the blue, and let's see what happens. Dutchies committing to a, looks like what's going to be a 3-2 split here with Mon, Slot, and Amien pushing straight through to Charlie. Let's see what South Africa's can do against this Dutchies team. I'm a bit surprised that actually Dutchies, they are not barging into Butters at all. Klubidu is the closest, but he's actually challenging the Killer Clowns for front front runners but they didn't barge anybody to butters and they are actually contesting charlie already wow that was an interesting choice they yeah. decided not to go to butters at all well i think the plan they had there was to contest charlie knock the guys off that were pushing to alpha and try and maintain mid control unfortunately uh clue here couldn't maintain that mid but it, dutchies have still got the result they wanted that charlie alpha cap and it's going to be up to testosterone to defend alpha against the two-man push coming manages and to actually, narrowly pick one off he's got the second one pushing him now and actually the the kind of structure is exactly the same like at the beginning of the first round they want to have apples and charlie and they are not that interested in in butters because it's quite far away and it's quite difficult to capture the other two flags from butters because there are these big open long streets that they can hold by camping in the buildings Oh, most certainly. We've got Clue here with uh, this friend pushing towards that Butters flag, and they might end up getting a triple cap from this if the uh, Killer Clowns team isn't too careful. Yeah, it's uh, kind of interesting that they are actually pushing Butters. They are not kind of settling for uh, Apples and Charlie, so they actually do need to have a little bit of pressure so they don't give too much room for Killer Clowns. But there is always at least one guy on Charlie and Apples, just like there should be. And they are holding it back while well. 11 yeah. to 18 already. Yeah, I think uh, Dutchies have kind of train changed their movement a little bit. And they're trying to trap that Killer Clowns team in the center of the map and try and finish them off. They've got a little bit of a push pushing on Charlie. I mean, who have we got here for the Dutchies, if I can get on his name? Uh, we've got Armon. Armon here. And we miss him just as he manages to get a really, really nice double on that Charlie flag, defending it for his team, really doing some work. And now we've got Dutchies drifting back oh, towards Alpha against that four-man four push. Four guys on Apples from, that, from Kirala Clowns. And they, they, they now they are utilizing the same tactics. Push it. Push it with the whole team. 
someone could say they're pushing it real good. But now we've got um, <laughs> <laughs> now we've got Amin pushing. He's he's managing to mop up some guys. They get the near enough to squad wipe on Alpha, and now it's their time to push in and trap them at yeah, Bravo. And we've got testosterone there. Is doing that. He's tying up two people at Bravo here. Let's yeah, jump they in. Know they just had a squad wipe and they started running towards Butters. But Charlie's going down. There is two against two situation on. Uh, no, no, no. Two against one situation on Charlie at the moment. And <laughs> Killer Clowns are getting Charlie. <laughs> Testosterone was absolute on Bravo here. Narrowly uh, missing. A nice double by Amiens going to see him. And can he get the triple? He gets the triple, manages to secure Bravo for his team. This is going to be massive. And all it's going to be left is for the rest of his team to secure Look Charlie. And we have a triple cap on our hands, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Dutchies, big play by Dutchies. There's fighting going on on Charlie. Uh, and unlucky. And is reviving. They are reviving. And they're, 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 but look at that. Now it's Butters and Charlie both going to the KC. Can we see Testosterone manage to challenge Charlie? Oh, what happened to Bravo? Oh, my Normal heart is pounding just, right just now. Joined. Huge fight still on Charlie. There is cheese fuck. Cheese chuck. Sarko uh, Fragus joined him. Armon just killed him. But they are still holding the flag. So double for Casey and only apples for Dutchies at the moment. Dutchies really turning up the heat. And with Armon unfortunately having to reload that bar again. Uh, but with Killer Clowns all the way on Charlie. We've got Amien coming in to push Bravo. And luckily for Killer Clowns, oh, Hayes gets the Bravo spawn. Oh, they did. But just a moment ago, there was nobody. But they were there now. Now they have Hayes on there, but he's alone, and so he just need to Let's wait for we... somebody to spawn. Yeah, it looks like KDG is going to be the man for that. He's just gone down. He spawns up, and now it's and two on there. two on Bravo. They can hear now the people in the, the buildings. Hide and seek situation that everybody's waiting for somebody to move. Now we've got one on one. We've got Amien versus Hayes. Two good slayers. Hayes does get put to 50 health. He's going to get challenged again. And unfortunately, oh. Amin looks the wrong way and Hayes takes him out. <laughs> nice. Oh, awesome. Yeah, awesome flag play. At the moment. Every single flag is moving at the moment. Killer Clown's definitely taking the upper hand here, holding two out of the three flags. But they're still lacking by, what's that, eight points? Um, Dutchies really need to put in some work and extend that gap here. They're playing very, very close to the fire at the moment. They they are they are by far more aggressive than in the first round. They are pushing, they are pushing like hell, and they are contesting in every situation quite heavily. And the double cap is at this point of of game is crucial. It's it's enough. But then again, Dutchies are already on apples. Oh, most definitely. Um, again, Dutchies seem to be trading these flags quite a lot but killer clowns are getting faster and faster and faster with the rotation the moment they cap a flag they're leaving two people to defend and one person to push into that flag um and let's... At the moment. yeah and we've got zelda who who's caught between both alpha and bravo and looks like he's gonna be pushing back to try and help his teammate Hayes out who is stuck in that top of the top of the building they're getting naded and we can see his health going down and Zelda and being... can see him going down. Yeah, Zelda being very careful though. He's engaging when he needs to, trying to hide. Uh, Killer Clown's playing a very tactical game here, allowing for the the respawns to happen before they push, and that makes a huge difference when you're playing these games. Oh, and now we can see a triple building up for KC. Yeah, Dutch is getting a very good spawn from that. Testosterone, though, who spawns onto oh. Charlie uncontested. And the other three, four of their players spawn an Alpha to grab that as well. So very, very lucky. Looks like Dutch is saved by the spawn system of EA Dice and have managed <laughs> to narrowly narrow. escape a triple cap. <laughs> yeah, that was a narrow. And look at those those tickets. It's only five tickets apart, and that that one single triple would have turned the tide totally. Oh, most certainly. We've got Mon coming in. He's going to be pushing uh, two on two on Bravo. Gets taken out by Sarcophagus again with the bar. Optical versus Storm. And I think uh, we know exactly which one's going to win that. The Storm definitely has the better hit fire. And it's up to Testosterone now to uh, take Sarcophagus out. Three players spawn on. Again, well, Dutch is narrowly escaping this. But every single time they're forced to have one flag, they are losing tickets. And it's now 54-57. 
They really need to start getting a double cap under their belt here. And they are everybody pinned down to Charlie now, and they have to restart from there. Amien is trying to move, but the middle ground is hold heavily. And he can't get anywhere. And they are pinned down. Now I can see Clupido here. He's trying to flank. And he's such a success, being successful there because there is nobody at Apples and, and Butters at the moment. And it seems like Casey is trying to push for triple because all the flags are empty at the moment. Well, so Clupido is getting Butters together with Amien. I mean, Killer Clown's been very, very careful here. They decided to abandon the uh, the two the two man push onto the three man Charlie. I decided to send one person to Alpha Hayes. Very, very good decision, letting Anchor cap the flag, while uh, Dutchie's cap Bravo and their slain team tries to recap it. But I have to say that I was surprised that there was nobody on the flags. Both apples and and the butters were were unmanned. There was nobody in there. I think we're definitely seeing Killer Clowns playing the the more tactical game here and um, really distributing their players where they needed, when they needed. And we just need to see Dutchies do the same thing. Oh, Casey, is using, uh, the Sarkographus was using the telescopic, bar telescopic there, and I believe that that's a banded weapon. All the telescopic ones usually are. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the, the bar telescopic is allowed. Uh, let's just double oh, check that know. for you guys. It's going to be interesting to see. Um, I'll check I... it. You just keep on talking. <laughs> if I had a five-year-old, I'd bet it right now. Um, unfortunately, I'm poor and spent all my money on uh, casting this game for you guys. So, we're joined with Amien here. He's going to be pushing Alpha. Again, Killer Clown spreading a nice line to defend. Amien gets hit by Hayes, who again is hiding. And it's going to be up to Mon to defend Charlie. And we've got a bit of a fight here on Bravo, which just got taken out by Clue. And Mon, again, left to defend against a 2-1 push. He's left with six rounds in the magazine. Unfortunately, can't get the bullets down range as he runs out of ammo. And KDG wipes him out with the Herald Ghoul there. Again, Dutchie's busy playing on the back foot. They're fighting an uphill struggle at the moment. While Killer Clowns are clawing back those points. Three tickets between the two teams. It's only a matter of time before Killer Clowns take the lead here. And Dutchies need to be quick on it because if they take the lead this late in the game, they're going to really struggle to regain and win this map. And Dutchies definitely need to win this map if they stand any chance of winning this final against Killer Clowns on their home flag. And you were correct. On T5, on domination, the bar telescopy is actually allowed. It is on T8, it is panned, banned, and I was referring to that. Because so we're so we going to get my fiber. But in T5, that is okay. We're going to get my five pounds, Jampoo. <laughs> 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 but Dutchie's managing to secure Charlie. They're securing Bravo as well, we hope. Um, we're going to stick with Mon here, who's about to be challenged by what looks like to be two of the killer clowns players and here we go again they're waiting for that respawn two players jump on and they push that two-man push onto the flag here zelda goes down even and casey is having no longer a double gap it's going for the duchies and this is crucial time this is crucial time in the game because now duchies are getting the double and they are dead even one ticket apart actually they have one half of a ticket more at the moment from the duchies side but they are contesting Charlie at the moment from Casey's side, and it's going to be tough, tough end. It's an incredibly close game here, and with Killer Clowns pushing a three-man push onto Charlie, Mon on his own with the bar, he's already spent a few of his rounds, goes through the reload, can't take out the second person before the third wipes him out with a grenade away. here. Dutchies really okay. need to push that alpha flag. There's one person on alpha. Ami and Tessestro need to get their asses moving and push to cap that flag. And they need to leave yep. two people on Bravo now because they're one ticket ahead with a double cap it's going against them. sliding to KC because they are all pinned down to Butters and they need to start running, running like hell to any flag. Because they're dead even at the moment, but KC is going to go ahead in any second now. Because they have a double. Now they um, are charging into apples. And we're about to see what Killer Clowns have been doing. The second thing, they've been doing very well this whole game. They've been on the spawns. But the moment they, they destroy a push, what we saw Zelda and Hayes do here, pushing Alpha, they immediately hit that counter-attack and push that middle flag, the um, Dutch's own. Ooh, and it's allowing them to stay. Butters went down. Casey's doing a good job here because they are 
capping while all the players from Dutchies were concentrating on apples. <laughs> Casey managed to get butters, but there is a huge, huge wide fight going on on butters. And we could start seeing a little triple cap here. No, nope, looks like Dutchies managed to get Bravo, but I think it's a little too late here, Jampu, with the game so yeah. early in and Dutchies really fighting an uphill struggle. They are set to probably lose this second round, and yeah, it's going to be uh, 96 to 100. Yeah, and Dutchie's going to need to win that that first round of Amiens here with Killer Clowns Absolutely. winning round two. Whoa, that was a close. So it's 1-1. 1 -1. 96 to 100, and KC took the second round. Good job, mates. <laughs> Absolutely amazing game. It's a complete reversal of the first round with Killer Clowns losing 96 to 100 and then winning the next <laughs> game 100 to 96 here. You know, look at that change in Casey's tactics. They started a little bit, a bit cautiously. I don't know what they were thinking, but they didn't really push that much. But then all of a sudden they started pushing like hell. And at one point it was very difficult to follow because all the flags were moving all the time. But very entertaining and very <laughs> eventful round. I mean, a very, very even game at the moment with four points difference on both of the rounds to both teams. And again, the KDs aren't bad. We're starting to see notice more kills for the Dutchies. They were slaying a lot, but slaying isn't everything in Battlefield, and Killer Clowns played the game perfectly. They waited for the spawn, they pushed in pairs of two, and they always react with a counter-attack when they managed to stop an attack on their flag. And that was why they managed to slowly but surely bleed Dutchies from their points and win that round there. Yeah, exactly. And when you were talking about the KD, I think that the good, good, good example of the importance or not that much of an importance of the KD was the first round where Klubida did excellent job on holding those flags. He didn't have a positive KD. He didn't actually have that good KD, but his role in the game was crucial. So KD doesn't mean anything, anything in this tactical T5 domination. Yeah, no, it's absolutely crazy at the moment. Um, and we're going to be moving into the second round of, or the third round, sorry, second map of Amiens. This was Killer Clown's home choice, and Dutchies have to win this round. If Killer Clowns win this, Killer, Killer Clowns basically uh, win the game, if I'm not mistaken. Or am I wrong? No, I am wrong. You Ignore wrong. everything You're I am wrong. saying. I am having a, a bit of a duff day today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have to. If they manage to win this one, they are kind of having the edge because it's 1-1 at the moment it's going to be 2-1 and then it's depending on the last round if they still manage to win that one from the Casey side as well then they are winner but they're dead even at the moment so it's anybody's game if it goes one per each in Emiens it's going to be the decider which is going to be tonight the giant shadow map so let's hope that that actually happens because it's so exciting every time that we go on those those deciders but the big question mark here is that how Dutchies are going to have handle Killer Clowns home, home choice of map. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Killer Clowns with the dual grenades there managed to wipe out Alpha Blue Doors. And they looks like they managed to secure Charlie Top as well. With Sarcophagus looking to push towards Alpha. Goes back to Charlie. And uh, looks like Dutchies again on the back foot here losing Alpha yeah, like and... Ch oh, no. Oh. They, are they losing Alpha? No, they decided to push to Bravo here. Sorry. Yeah, and it's uncontested at the moment. Dutchies are getting butters. Interesting start. It looks like Dutchies are getting to double here, even though Killer Clowns are actually they're dead even at the moment. One minute in and they are dead even, which is kind of expected. Yeah, especially with those first two rounds, the way they went with four tickets defining the winning team. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what Dutchies do. It's not a map I've seen them play a lot. I've always seen them go for Sir Quinton Scar. They play a lot of Suez. Um, and Killer Clowns, this is their home map. And again, they could be with a triple cap, but luckily a big kill by uh, Clue there manages to win Dutchie's Bravo and Testosterone goes in big with his man. Apples is going for, for Dutchies as well. They are playing well. Big no evil. They are doing a good job even in Amiens. So they are on fire as well. Our killer clowns are, of course, contesting all the, all the maps, and they are running towards Butters at the moment. Darko Prakus is, is moving in, and there is nobody. There is nobody. Oh, there is. Amien is there, but he's half of, of, of his health already, and there are three players now from KC's side. Amien is doing a good job from the top of the building, but KDG is coming from behind and giving it to him. 
And there we saw it. We saw uh, KDG managing to get the kill, secure Bravo. Dutchies go to try and secure that Charlie flag and Bravo at the same time here. And again, we saw KDG pushing off the flag before he can get the cap. And it's allowed Dutchies to push two people in and wipe him out. This is a mistake that we've seen twice happen in the game now. Why don't you just wait for the cat, the flag to be capped before you move off? What's wrong with you? <laughs> There's a little bit of miscommunication, obviously. And you know, sometimes in the heat of the moment, you just kind of start pushing and, yeah, we need more flags and start running. And then nobody's calling out that they are going to cap it. Then that's what some of them happens. Being there. I mean, at the moment, we've got killer clowns on the back foot here. We're joining Zelda, who's going to be cutting off Dutchies in the center with Frack. And. I mean, this means nothing at this stage of the game. We saw what happened when Killer Clown's almost 20 points behind and they managed to get four points ahead at the very end of the game there. So this is going to be uh, Dutch's game to lose at the moment. And it seems that they're about to start trading places with Killer Clown's holding two of the three flags. Looking at the big map, I think that Killer Clown's are now trying to kind of ease up the situation a little bit. They are kind of holding the lines, not pushing too much to others, but just holding the lines, which is a good choice when they have the double. Most certainly. We've got Zelda here holding the center. He's been pushed by two players. Amien gets a good kill. It's just him and his teammate pushing up. Goes to a pig off uh, Zach here, who goes for the revive. He's going to be faced against two people. Caught with his pants down mid-reload. He's going to be fighting against two with no ammo. Uh, not the best decision you can make. Um, Armon did a good job on apples because he cleared, cleared the flag. We've got clue with a good it. triple kill on Alpha. Not only was he capping the flag, he was defending against the counter push. Against all odds, he gets the triple kill, goes in big for his team, and just in time as Bravo starts going down as well. Uh, the whole big play by him. started with a good push from Armon, and then Klopita, uh, Klopita spawned at him. Armon was killed in the in the action, but but Klopita did a good, good, nice work of cleaning up the, all the opposition and uh, nice trickle there. Definitely, probably one of the uh, better slayers hey, on Dutchies team that. here. Are we about to see a triple cap from Dutchies on Amiens? Can they? All they got to do is cap Charlie, and here we go. We need, oh, we def we need a triple cap counter. Game. We, what is the going on? Game. What is going on? Look at those points go. Dutchies go from slightly behind to 12 points ahead with one lucky triple cap. They're about to let it go. They need to get Zach off of Charlie here and maintain that hold on Alpha. But oh my god, Dutchies going in big and going in hard right now. Indeed, that was a surprise to me, and I didn't want to talk no bad behind their back, but I had my doubts how they are going to do an Amiens, but hey, speak no evil. That was <laughs> excellent job by them. Awesome, but it looks like they're getting absolutely minced on Alpha here. It's up to Mon defending two people from train tracks. Uh, he's up by guns, definitely seeing a bit more of a more popular position now on the Alpha flag. We switched from indoors to gun, and that stairs by... Uh, the tracks pushing Alpha, but he does a good job. Amion sacrifices himself to allow Dutchies to hold Alpha. And looks no, like the tron contested. There is nobody from Dutchies' side, so Casey is getting Charlie, and they are getting a double for a chains. But look at those targets: 54 to 38 with that one quite fast triple. But that managed to do the damage already. So good job there. And ki killer clowns do not know what hit them. And they're going to be struggling throughout this whole game now to make those tickets up. I mean, Testosterone pushing up, decides not to revive the teammate and go for a potential slay. Um, of course, in domination, everything is possible because they just need one lucky triple and they are home free. And they actually, they hold hold this position. They are still home free, but it's quite difficult because Dutchies are doing a good job. They are playing well. They are doing a damn good job, so it's going to be a tough, tough night for both teams. I mean, Dutchies get a good kill. Mon picking up two people. Clues deciding to go in the offensive and push Bravo. He needs to ignore the center of the map and leave that to the rest of his team. He needs to go straight for that Bravo flag. What's he doing? Oh, it stresses me out watching this game, Jampu. It stresses me out. <laughs> this is why I go bald. Casting Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Tearing off your, your hair. Yeah, and we've got Killer Clowns in a very, very weird position here. They got the opportunity for a triple cap, and they waited for Hayes here. to get They're it. Getting triple here, man. What Dutchies have thrown away all that hard work through some bad decisions, and hopefully they can cap or decap Charlie in time for Killer Clowns not to uh, get no, there. No, they are not. No, they are not. 
What's going on, Dutchies? You had Dutchies such great form. Get the Charlie and Butters is going down as well. But look at those tickets. The damage is already done. They are dead even again. Oh, Three tickets what's apart. going on? This game is going to kill me. Uh, <laughs> but with Dutchies managing to secure Charlie and looks like they're securing Alpha as well. It won't be long before they're back on top and Killer Clowns are fighting. KZ's the already on Charlie. It's already pushing in there. Not yeah, that long though. Zelda oh, gets the are. kill. It's going yep. down. Oh, it's up and down all the time. It's like a Jojo, this flag. It's going to see flag is going up and down all the time. Apples is now with, with Duchess, so they have the ripple. And they are on Charlie again, and it's going down. What I was just talking about, Jojo. But we've got Zelda at the top here with laying down some fire, stopping the cap. Killer Clowns managed to wipe Amien out, and then they're going straight for this Alpha Flag. And this is that speed that Dutchies need to keep them going throughout the whole game. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that speed advantage seems to be on Casey's side at the moment, because they are moving fast. They are all over the map all the time. And that's kind of interesting tactic, because they are not holding back at the moment. They are pushing like hell. They are pushing all the time, every flag. At the moment, there is nobody in Charlie. They are defending Butters, luckily, because they are going, Dutchies are going to Butters. Friedhoff managed to clear up one guy, but he was killed then by Chase. Yeah, There's Zelda... one-on-one -on -one situation on Butters. Zelda baiting one of the Dutchie players into the building Whoa! on Alpha before pushing Broken the bottle just, just killed, killed the arm on there. Zelda having a very, very good game at the moment here on Alpha. Wiping out two, three, four, five players before he goes down. Um, and luckily did it just in time for the rest of Killer Clowns to push into Alpha. And this is the time Dutchies need to start challenging Charlie. They should have the calls out going, four people on Alpha, where the frick are you guys going? And the rest of the people need to start challenging that Charlie flag instead of rushing to the flag they're losing. And this is yeah, where exactly. we're starting to see the cracks start to form in Dutchies' line. Yeah, indeed, indeed, because that was that was kind of kind of a mistake that I've done in the past couple of times as well. That I'm hitting my head to that brick wall all the time. It's kind of you you get obsessed with the flag that hey, let's push that, and you keep on pushing even though you're getting beaten. Absolutely, in that kind of situation, when you know that most of the team is there, there isn't, isn't that many guys on any other flag. You should be contesting the other flag. In this this case, it should be Charlie, and that's what they are doing right now, and they are getting it. There's only one defender there. And but they're down. 10 points behind, and I don't think it's going to be enough for them to hold both flags. They have to get a triple cap to secure their lead in this round and to take it to the next one. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a close call because it's quite slow to get those those flags. They have a, they need 11 from Casey's side. Yeah, but they've just, they just lost Bravo. At the moment. Armand's got two people challenging him. Amian needs to do some work and help his teammate out here. Does Amien get the second kill? Unfortunately, he can't. Mon is also getting hit from the uh, top there by the buildings. And they are losing apples. There are two against one at the moment. And this is absolutely tragic to see. Dutch has had an amazing streak sort of that, that qu fourth quarter of the game. And they just let it go. Um, they got their form broken. And like I said at the beginning of this game, it's going to be one of those things where killer clowns feed off your mistakes. And if you make a mistake like that where you... Go for the slays instead of the cap. Killer clowns are going to punish you for it, and that's what they did. Yeah, exactly. And they are holding. They are holding tight, even though now Dutchies are getting bothered. But it's a little bit too little, too late because it's 98 already, and there is no way they can turn this around if they don't get triple. And that's very unlikely because there is two against one situation in Charlie, and they are losing Charlie, so they can't even keep double likely testosterone was doing a good job there but now he's down so it's double for casey and the victory for casey oh absolutely tragic to see but considering they went 88 to 100 compared to like the 33 to 100 they did in their previous games it's definitely a better result for dutchies and just goes to show the improvement they're making throughout this game yeah, and of course we have to remember that this was their home turf. It was their map, and they probably played this like hell because they picked it up up for their their final. So it was their edge, so to speak.
But good, good game, good game, definitely. And that yeah. is, I have to say that I was so surprised of that that triple. And I would say that the turning point was when when you called out the situation when they just kind of lost their form. They just didn't know where where to go and what to do. And then Casey started. They added the volume a little bit and they started pushing and moving far fast. And that just that couldn't keep up. They just couldn't keep up. They they lost at that point. And and I think that it's exactly like you said. They should have started start pushing at least with one guy or two guys on Charlie and not keep on barging on the brick wall on apples. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a definitely a tense game at the moment and it's going to be uh it's going to be awesome to see Dutchies have to win this next round to take it to the tiebreaker. If Killer Clowns win, they will be the division 3 champions for season 3 if I'm not mistaken. That is correct, that is correct, but it's all for glory because these guys, they already won their semifinal matches, so both of these teams are actually getting the promotion for the the next next uh, division, meaning that they will be playing on Division 2 anyways, but it's for the glory. Who is getting the championship? Yeah, most definitely, but I mean, Dutchies, who were, again, the underdogs of Division 3, have improved so much going through. They finished second in their group, managed to defeat the first place group of um, in the semi final, and are now here facing Killer Clowns again. And again, like what I said, what the score was before, they've definitely improved against Killer Clowns, uh, but they have still got a little bit more work to do. And well done for Killer Clowns countering that triple cap and bringing themselves back from like a twenty point deficit there. Yeah, definitely they are. They are. I agree. They 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 were underdogs to start with, and I have to say that they are giving a good fight for Killer Clowns. They are giving giving something for their monies because they are doing good job. And then the triple gap in this Amiens was so coming out of the blue that I was so surprised. So definitely good game from Dutchies, but Killer Clowns were just that much better. And here we have it. We're into the fourth and possibly final round. We've only got to wait and see. Killer Clowns in the blue. Dutch is in the red. Dutch is off to a strong shot with Clue managing to get that push on Alpha. And it's only a matter of time before Dutchies really apply the pressure to Killer Clowns. Yeah, and actually that that uh, A spawn is a little bit better that Killer Clowns got because it's shorter distance to Charlie as well. So it's early double for, for Killer Clowns. But it's luckily... It's Killer strange. Clowns managed to get almost squad wiped at the moment by the uh, Dutchies players. Unfortunately, Dutchies didn't leave anyone to defend Bravo, but they've had a c complete role reversal of the map holding Alpha and Charlie now. And I was surprised that every every single Casey player ran away from Charlie and got wiped, and now it's a free cap for Dutchies. That was an interesting, but they they have this they have this strange strategy. I have to say they have I have called out Casey to lots and lots of games, and every team is almost almost the same when it comes to strategies. But Killer Clowns to have have this crazy marching strategy, and they are going to every flag like it's their last, and it's very entertaining for viewers. But I'm I'm surprised that they are so bold on their movement. But it's paying off. They they are are winning two to two to one at the moment, so it's paying off. Uh, definitely, and but like we've seen in the previous rounds, the beginning doesn't really matter. It's all about that end game, and Dutchies just need to keep up. the stamina up. It's all stamina at the moment. Now, Killer Clowns are having a little bit of tactics. They are not pushing like hell. They are holding lines, but actually, now Dutch is left. The a apples open. There is nobody on apples. Oh, hold on, hold on. Our Dutch is no, going to no, get Dutch triple cap early in the game here. Can they defend Charlie long enough? Oh my it's God. It's going to be up to Echo Slot here. He needs to go in big for his team. Two people push in, gets one kill. Can he get a second? No, unfortunately, no, he can't. It. It's but going... the, the damage is done. The pressure is on, and Clue is already pushing up to Charlie Top. Casey did again exactly the same thing. Everybody left. Everybody left the, the flag, and it's it's crazy. It's crazy. They are they are playing this this double or nothing kind of game. That that when they have the flag, they don't bother defending it. Let's rush into the next flag. And but here we have. Is exactly doing exactly the same because now G Casey is getting apples free. There is nobody, and a huge huge fight on Charlie. Yeah, Dutchy is definitely picking up the pace, and I'm liking what I'm seeing here. But they just need to be a bit more careful about how they do it. I think they're moving a little bit too fast, losing their line a little bit. 
and Killer Clowns are starting to feed off the uh, the gaps in the line here. They Dutchies need to start finding that nice balance, and at this point in, in the game, at round four, they should really have got a feel for how Killer Clowns play. But look at that, triple building up for KC now. Okay, Apples is going down there, not going to get it, but good job there. And even though their their tactic seems to be a little bit unorthodox, <laughs> I have to say that it is working because they... they oh, they Amien just needs to push in. Time. Charlie's uncontested. Can he get a triple cap for his team? Come on, Dutchies, let's go. Let's go. They are, they are. There is Haze Mo moving into Charlie. And oh, KDG gets the kill. Didn't get that. And it looks like Dutchies are going to start losing Bravo as well with Testosterone going yeah. down. Dutchies four to two people left. But they do get the Bravo spawn. So let's get back on Testosterone, see what he can do. Puts the pressure on getting a good headshot on a few body shots. Definitely going to put someone on Absolute there. I mean, it was going down, but it's two against two. And now it's two against one. Two Dutchess players. Now there is Sark of Gracchus only. And he just clears just like nothing. Right, cleaning he house the there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just... When, oh, the triple. Now Charlie's going no, down. No, Charlie is quite... going down. But Dutchess still maintain the lead somehow. Don't know how. Only by three points. But we're going to start seeing that fade away the longer Killer Clowns hold this double cap. Yeah, I was just about to say when, when we, you called out the, the situation in Butters that, that even though that tactic is quite un unorthodoxic because they are running like hell and not not bothering defending but i have to say that it's working in that sense that it's it's making the game very hard for dutchess dutchess are trying to play this this very orthodox game and very tactical game but but killer clowns they don't just leave room for that they are moving so fast and contesting all the flags that it's it's kind of spinning dutchess a little bit, bit against the wall they don't know what to do because it, they are moving so fast and there's always a huge amount of players on every flag they are contesting so it's quite quite interesting but it's working uh most definitely i mean we've seen kdg going in big sarcophagus going in big like we saw before um we're definitely seeing Killer Clowns ramp up the pace here, and they could have definitely used that in St. Quentin Sky in that first round, but at least they're using it now, and this is their game to lose. It's all up to whether Killer Clowns can win this round and get crowned the champions, or whether if they lose, they go through that <laughs> all intensive tire play. Go. Every single flag was moving at the moment. <laughs> it's we, crazy. And we've got two points between both of the teams at the moment. So it's a very, very close game. Very close. But I'm, I, I, have to, I have to give it to Killer Clowns. They are playing like it's their last game of, of, of the season. And they are playing hard. I haven't seen never ever before in my life such an aggression on any of the games. They are just barging in for every single situation. I mean, like I said when we were starting this game off, I love watching these Division 3 teams because they're always the best games to cast. They're always the tight games, and it's these teams who are still learning, still finding their feet within the esports community, and the improvement you see is good to watch. And for games like this, where you're four points, three points between the teams nearly throughout the whole round here. You go yeah, through to Division exactly. 1, and a team will just stomp another team. There's no competition in it, really. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you have two evenly matched teams and they are very talented teams, they are playing this little bit of hide-and-seek and it's sometimes a little bit boring to watch, but this is far, far away from boring because there is so much <laughs> going on all the time. <laughs> he gets a, a knife on Amien as he jumps through the fire and flames there. Um, Clue obviously wipes it up, no surprise, but what a kill that was. It was the broken bottle again. That new melee, melee weapon came in with the latest patch. <laughs> uh, Clue's going to be faced with a 2v1 situation here on Charlie. Manages to spray and pray, getting a few hit markers, but has to retreat. He's in a bad spot. Good decision there. Sarko Krafus is still on Butters, and he has been doing a very good job on Butters all the time. He's been cleaning that like nothing all the time. Now he's barging in a little bit himself as well. And they have a nice, nice double again from the KC. And they are slowly starting to get a little bit of ahead. Now only two tickets apart, so it's <laughs> it's still that even. Yeah, Zelda with a uh, good kill pushing in from Alpha. Turning around to help Doors out. Gets the revive. And also wipes out C-Top. He's doing an awesome job. 
You know, Killer Clowns, like I said before, really ramping up the pace with their slaying at the moment. And it's really showing with KDG, Zelda, and Sarcophagus getting really important three pieces for the teams. Right, it's nine tickets apart, so slowly Casey is starting to get a little bit of gap in between. So let's see, but oh my god, Butters is moving. Okay, Dutchies are getting apples. There's nobody again on apples, and Butters is now with coming to Casey, but luckily for Dutchies, apples is coming for them. But then Jelda got in an interesting spawn right next to apples, so he's going to move in. Managed to avoid the triple. But Tilda is already on apples. KDG needs to go in big for Killer Clowns. And he does. Securing Bravo for his team. Keeping that double cap up. They are now 12 points Tilda in the lead and counting. Apples. No, he didn't dare to, to stay there because there was too many uh, many from the opposing team. And he just left that, that flag. He didn't even cap that. I wonder why. Oh, there were CT's teammates. But Dutchies are on apples as well. It's going up and down. Now it's apples that is going up and down all the time. So Kofka's trying to push back and he gets curried in the back by uh, Schlott here. Who gets a really nice knife. Probably my favourite melee weapon of the game. Um, Clue going in big in shop here. And we've got another one of the Killer Clowns players challenging Alpha as well. Hopefully Echo Schlott can get in and get the kill. And that he does. Dutchies for uh, the first oh time in a long God. team. Get a possibility of a triple it's cap here. Triple for Dutchies. The thing is, can they get it? Testosterone has to go in big. No, it's a 2v1 situation here. He's uh, stuck within a, a rock and a hard place, oh, and he gets taken yeah. out. Dutchies need to get someone on this Charlie flag. Can Clue get there in time to defend? He needs to. He has no other choice. <laughs> this is crazy. How this happened? I don't even know how it happened. And now Dutchies are still threading with the triple. They are. There is only one player left on on Butters. Of course, it's Armon. Oh, it's. No, Butters is, is now with, with with Casey. Yep, they managed to clean that up, and now they are challenging Charlie as well. The Dutchies are fighting like hell. But I, I was almost calling out because it was 13 tickets apart a moment ago. Now it's only 7 tickets apart, and Apples is going down. Most certainly, and we've got Clue again. Did a good job defending. Dutchies lost Alpha. It's up to their team on Bravo to see if they can hold it. Killer Clown's doing a good job applying the pressure here. Schlott missing his shots of his pistol and gets taken out by KDG with Killer Clown securing Bravo and they have to Apples push going Charlie now. Apples is uncontested at the moment. So it's still anybody's game. They are eight tickets apart, so double is enough still in this at this point of the game, but Charlie's going down. <laughs> Jesus how fast is this, this, this the flags are going up and down. Now it's going for KC. Charlie's going for Casey. They only have, have Butters, but Butters is empty. And the whole teams of Dutchies, the whole team is there. Only one player on Apples. Amien is on, on Apples, but the rest of the team from Dutchies are on Butters. Amien got killed, and Klupida is moving in for the kill. He's running towards Apples. KDG with an important kill there to push in towards Alpha, stopping the uh, Dutchies push into the flag, and he goes straight for the flag. And Charlie is uncontested, and Casey is there already. It's a triple, but all the flags are empty. Every single flag except Butters is empty. It seems like uh, Ecclesot is getting apples, but Jelda got a lucky spawn on apples, so he's contested. But he's down already. Yeah, so Butters is going down for for. Dutchies, but, it's but it's a, a little, little too, late. too late. It's a little too late. Like, honestly, Dutchies need a triple cap now if they stand any chance in winning. But with the way Killer Clowns are playing, it definitely looks like it's going to be the final yeah. going to Killer Clowns and here. It's double. But and what... it's double for Killer Clowns, and that's the end of it. There is no way they can manage to get it in the next, next few seconds. It's only kind of five seconds apart, and they are home free, and they are going to be the Division 3 champion of the Season 3. Congratulations, Killer Clowns. And what an awesome game it has been. Uh, I don't know what else to say, Jampu. It's been out I'm flipping sweating. standing. I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> it was so, so tough. Wow, what a game. Very entertaining indeed. Very close call. 
and it was kind of a nice start when 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 the the Dutchies managed to get their first first uh, round in in Scar, and they played very hard for the second as well. But Amiens was kind of their destiny this time because it was it was all Casey and that crazy tactics of Casey. Like I said before, I haven't seen that kind of tactics ever, never ever in my life that they are just barging from flag to flag. Most of the time the flags were empty. There were very rare situations where Casey was actually defending the flags. They kind of went all or nothing and went for flag to flag and it paid off. They are the champion. Certainly and what an awesome game it's been, especially for the likes of myself and Jampu at Battle Epic here. The Division 3 teams have progressed so much and we've seen Dutchies getting absolutely shrecked by Killer Clowns in the group stages. To look at those points differences on the board, 4-4-12-17, absolutely outstanding. And they've given us an awesome game to watch and cast. So I can't thank both teams enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the game watching. I know I certainly did. So did I. What can I say? Congratulations for both teams and congratulations for future matches. I think that we are done here. Yeah, so thank you for joining. This has been Battle Epic Live with another Battlefield Community League Season 3 game. This is going to finish off the season with the Division 3 Finals. Killer Clowns are the finalists. And again, both teams will get promoted to Division 2 for, uh, for the next season. So I can't wait to see how they progress there. I've been a wild time. I hope you've had one too. Jampu's been joining me today with the cast. And thank you and good night, guys. Good night, everybody.